The yeas are 50, the nays are 48. The motion to concur with the amendment is agreed to. The Senate has voted to lift the U.S. debt ceiling into December, averting a default in a matter of days. The Democratic majority House is expected to easily pass the same motion on Tuesday. The U.S. has never defaulted on its debt, but if it did, its economy would be devastated. The Democratic majority leader said Republicans' reluctance to push the debt ceiling further put the country at risk. Republicans played a dangerous and risky partisan game, and I am glad that their brinksmanship did not work. Republicans feel they're the ones who stuck out their necks to save the country from an economic catastrophe. But they were reluctant to push up national debt and say that if the Democrats want to do so again in December and pass President Biden's multi-trillion dollar social spending package, they'll have to do so on their own. The pathway our Democratic colleagues have accepted will spare the American people any near-term crisis while definitively resolving the majority's excuse that they lacked time to address the debt limit through the 304 reconciliation process. The budget reconciliation process is a way for one party to push the debt ceiling on its own. The Democrats don't want to use it because it's complex, because it's a bipartisan process that Republicans could jeopardize, and also it would mean they would solely be responsible for raising debt. The crisis is therefore pushed back and talks will resume in a few weeks' time.